This video will provide a quick introduction on evaluating your materials for inclusion in the University Archives. It's broken down into three sections. 1. Archives Overview 2. Evaluating your records and 3. Preparing your records. Part 1. Archives Overview The archives are located on the fifth floor of the Briscoe Library. The University Archivist is Diane Fotinos and the Senior Archive Assistant is Melissa DeThorne. You can contact them at specialcollections at utesca.edu or call 210-450-8260. What are the University Archives? The Archives collect, organize, store, and preserve university records with administrative or historical value. These records document the functions of the university and how they were implemented. Typically, records in the archives cover topics like administration, institutional history, the history of medicine, and faculty subject specialties. Archival records only include material created within the university and are open to public researchers unless otherwise noted. Records are kept by their creating department for a designated retention period before they can be transferred to the archives. Each record type has its own retention period. Every department should appoint a records management representative. They're expected to manage and review any departmental records before initiating transfer to the archives. Once records are past their retention period and have no holds, they must be evaluated before initiating transfer to the archives to ensure they're within scope. The first step in the evaluation is checking to see if your record type has an archival code. Archival codes tell you what you need to do with your records. You don't need to worry about most of them, but there are a couple of specific codes for records that are required to be archived. These codes can be found by searching the records retention schedule. Archival codes are marked in the detail page for each record type. For transfers, there are one of two codes you should look out for. An archival code of O, are records that must be reviewed by archive staff. An archival code of I are records that must be transferred to the archives. Not all records will have a code. In cases like these, you'll have to manually evaluate to see if your records meet the criteria for the archives. When starting, ask yourself a few general questions about your records. Archival records document the history of the university. Are your records unique? Do they offer administrative, historical, or research value? Are they relevant to the university's mission? Records don't have to be paper. They can include anything from film, audio recordings, to equipment. However, we can't accept everything. What format are your records in? Are they obsolete technology like floppy disk or film reel? What is the physical state and size of your records? Before transfer, ask the archive staff about obsolete formats. We may not have the equipment available to retrieve information from them. Microfilm is not accepted. If your records meet the above criteria, you'll next need to look through the list of accepted and not accepted record types and make a judgment call. We'll link to these lists below the video, which can be found on our LibGuide. Reach out to archive staff if you're unsure or have any questions. Once you've determined your records are within scope, you'll need to prepare them for transfer. Just remember, we can't accept any records that haven't met the retention period, have any hold, or records that are still in use. In addition, items that do not align with the scope will not be archived and either returned or properly disposed of. The following steps will guide you through the transfer process. One, contact archive staff to schedule a review of your records email special collections at utesca.edu or call 210-450-8260. We can work with you on site, via Teams, or by email. Two, once your records have been approved for transfer, box them in their original file folders and in the same order they were maintained. Do not separate or mix files. Three, you'll need to complete two forms before transfer, which will be provided by archive staff after your review. The first is a transfer authorization form, which is a legal transfer authorized by your unit head. The second is an archives transfer inventory form, which is a detailed list of box contents. Four, 
You'll need three copies of each of these forms. Email a digital copy of both to Special Collections at utesca.edu. Send the original printed and signed forms with the box material, either placed inside box one or attached to the exterior. And lastly, keep a copy for your records. Five, your department will need to arrange the transfer to the archives. Archive staff will not pick up materials. Six, before the transfer, contact archive staff to let us know what date and estimated time the materials will arrive so we can be there to receive them. Don't leave boxes and materials unattended in the library. Seven, after the transfer, archive staff will review your paperwork and sign it for receipt. Once done, the transfer is complete and your records will be archived. You can contact the archives at specialcollections at utesca.edu or by calling 210-450-8260. You can contact our general helpline at askalibrarian at utesca.edu calling 210-567-2450 or visiting our website at library.utesca.edu.